Welcome to the Lutze LSC Airstream Configurator. The following video tutorial shows in five steps how to configure and request LSC Airstream wiring frames for cabinets with the Lutze Configurator tool on www.lutze.com. In the first step, the cabinet size and type are defined. Under Product Type, the cabinet system for the configuration is selected. Followed by the width, height, and depth of the cabinet. The standard frame width, height, and depth are selected automatically by the system. By clicking the question marks, more information about the selected values can be found. Saved configurations can be loaded under Step 1. This is only possible if users are logged in. In step 2, the configuration of the frame is done. On the left side, the settings of step 1 are displayed. Below, an explanation of the individual rail types can be found. The configuration starts at the upper end of the frame. The upper clearance is preset at 15 mm. The value corresponds to the height of the wiring comb. To find the desired module, filter options can be set. A module comprises a rail type, which can be equipped with wiring combs as well as two brackets and edge protectors on each side. Filter parameters such as rail height, comb and modules with DIN rail profiles can be set. Under Module, the selected module is shown. By clicking Add, the selected module is added to the configuration. The configuration can be extended module by module. For example, by duplicating the currently selected module. Now a module without a DIN rail profile is added. For this step, the filter option Module with DIN Rail Profiles is deselected. Under Module, only profiles without integrated DIN Rails profiles are shown. Also, special modules can be added. Those types of modules are not used for mounting assemblies. They are used for fixing wires. The sequence of the modules can be changed by dragging and dropping. An LSC frame can also be configured by loading a standard frame. The standard frame is selected according to the application and the height of the cabinet. By clicking on the question marks, information about the selected standard frame and a link with information about all other available standard frames are displayed. After loading the standard frame, an information mark for every individual module is displayed. Even after loading a standard frame, modules can be added, duplicated, edited or deleted. Once the configuration has been completed, accessories can be selected in the next step. The VP SIM module is required for every frame to mount rail modules. The fastening set can be selected based on the cabinet type. If required, comb lids are selected here. For the comb cover KDF50, a clearance of 50 mm between the modules is required. Various adapter rail modules are available to mount large equipment or assemblies with screw attachments. With the adapter rail modules, the mounting rails are overbuilt. On the adapter rail modules, devices with different drill patterns can be mounted. For attaching or mounting the adapter rail modules, special attachment materials are needed. There are various combs available for different cable diameters. Depending on the accessories, 
These are available in packaging units. Wire holders are used for fixing assembles on the backside of the rail modules. It is possible to order the modules individually without mounted VP SIM modules and special modules. Separate attachment material is required for mounting the rail modules on VP SIM modules. The data can be checked after selecting the accessories. In the fourth step, a review of the configuration summary can be done. More information of the individual items can be displayed. An inquiry can be done without a registration on the website. If a registration was done, PDF drawings are offered with an inquiry. After the registration, it is possible to log in on our website with a login and a password. If customers are already registered, the login can be done immediately. The login data has to be entered into the inquiry form. The data can be changed and further information can be added, for example project names. After that, two options will be available. Saving the configuration for later modifications. Intermediate sending of the inquiry regarding the configuration later. In Step 5, users which are logged in can download the PDF drawings directly from the website after sending the inquiry. Additionally, the configuration can be saved in the watch list.